Hello, and welcome to my time title. And we're going to continue on my compact model 5220, which is a factory sealed compact from 1998. And we're going to be playing a 1999 game uh, from SSI called Fighting Steel. Okay, here we are with the start of SSI's Fighting Steel. Got the play, scenario, editor, free, scenario, internet play on mplayer.com. Boy, missed that place. Intel Indito video, which that was just to record your stuff at the time. Uh, DirectX, um, read me and all that fun stuff. Into the game, see how it fires up. <laughs> that old Bigfoot allowed, ain't it? <laughs> Fighting Steel, 1999. <laughs> Love this game back in the day. It really had hours and hours of fun, um, countless hours. So many scenarios, campaigns, and historical scenarios and campaigns. Um, really, a lot of things to do on this game for a old ship simulator. What we're gonna do is go get our butt kicked. <laughs> I'm going to go probably take the Battle of River Plate down here and just charge right in, which will really usually get the Grass Bay uh, destroyed. <laughs> so I'm going to pick the Graph. Um, put on a little camo. I'll try that one, huh? Order to the South Atlantic. Her mission is to attack Allied merchant vessels and draw valuable British warships away from the North Atlantic field. For three months, Grand Spain enjoys the fruits of victory, capturing or sinking a variety of merchant vessels, while the British Navy searches in vain for the mysterious predator. Grand Spain's captain, Langsdorff, hearing a large pickers off the coast of South America, heads for the waters near the river cliff. He wants to capture a few more ships before turning his own ship homewards for another day. At first, his mission is successful. And here goes the Battle of River Plate. They already got all these saved on uh, YouTube if you want to watch the full uh, movie edits. Anyways, here we go. Tracking mode. I'm going 24 knots. Here's where you go into your map. Uh oh, there's my contact already. So basically, I'm gonna go into threat mode. Oh, my, both my batteries. And I'm gonna try to con. Go straight into, I think, contact here. Which should be. Exeter. Exeter's the one that's really gonna give me a problem. The other two will soon enough too. Uh, definitely need to get my guns on that contact. And they're not. <laughs> okay. Concentrate everything. Oh, my secondaries are at least. Target track. There's Exeter. Let's see what she's doing. Okay, taking a turn too. What they try to do is group up, and really you're supposed to bug out. So you pretty much hit smoke and try to leave the area and make as much damage as you can and win the game. But if you stick around 
you start getting smoked. That's kind of what I'm going to do. We'll see what happens. Now the exit are firing at me. I try to close the distance and get in a few shots before Ajax and Achilles really lay into me. They're going to too soon. They're a lot faster. So the problem is with this scenario, they're faster. You try to... Oh, cool. We're going to get a... This is how long it actually takes a shell to get there. Shows how far away it is. Hopefully I get a hit. Oh yeah, we got a little hit there. Do a little moving before. I'm just trying to cross the T on these guys. I'm trying to keep them on their just front guns because when they get sideways, it's over for me. Um. I do have some torpedoes if I don't lose them. Um, in this game, uh, torpedo mounts sometimes don't last in time to get it close enough. Oh! I got a good hit on the Exeter there. side guns here. Oh yeah, I did. Look at that. Lost one of my secondaries. Not good. I'm faring a little better than Exeter is right now though. But the wild thing about this game, you just never know. Um, You'll be thinking you're kicking butt and suddenly you get a magazine hit on you. <laughs> they do, or you do on them, or they launch torpedoes and you didn't notice. Um, no way to really tell. Just got to keep doing a little zigzagging. I'm a little far out to worry about torpedoes right now. Um, Exeter, she has some, might be able to get some off, but it really would be a luck crapshoot. Um, I'm still going 24 knots, so I haven't had no engine hits or any of that kind of stuff. Let's see if we can put a herd on Exeter. Exeter one to w watch out for, though. If you don't take this this one on right away, just like in the like the real battle. <laughs> They will smoke you. And actually, you're supposed to be running by now. I should just be running, trying to get out. See, I'm already getting hurt. Let's see. No, oh, I still got good propulsion. But I've been smacked already a couple times. Ooh, Achilles and them. They're starting to get... Yeah, see, they're starting to turn. They're going to start getting sideways on me here soon. If I can knock out a turret or two. Hmm. Needed that one to hit. <laughs> Ajax. Here's Achilles, and they're both firing too. So, if I don't get any good scores on this one here soon, I'm going to be done. <laughs> and this game is the luck of the draw sometimes. Woo! Oh, I'm on fire. Yeah, see, they're starting to pick me up. I should have already turned and ran the other way. <laughs> oh, it looks like I knocked out one turret. One of the mains. 
but I'm smoking pretty good. Come on, get the fire out. Sometimes these fire crews are pretty good. Yeah, I'm down to 19 knots. That's pretty serious. Oof. I bet that yeah. Minor engine damage. I'm in trouble now. They're all getting closer. Yeah, she she got her fire out. Oh, I'm down to 14 knots. It says 18 now, but that's what I'm just cruising at. My engine speed's down to 14. I'm gonna try Achilles. Okay. I'm gonna try a long range shot at Achilles. Standard spread. There goes my torpedoes. I really should have waited until I get in closer for that, but this is pretty much I'm just showing off the graphics of the game, the gameplay. We're gonna have a much more serious fun game instead of me just going in and getting blown up. The other guys just keep oof major engine damage. That's not good. That means these guys are gonna start changing direction probably. We'll see. Oof. <laughs> but I'm almost dead in the water. <laughs> Let's see, I might be able to turn around and make another torpedo shot if they don't kill my other torpedoes by the time. I can't yet though. If I turn or make a move, they'll make a move against me and make that whole torpedo stuff worthless. Which it might be worthless anyways. Uh, let's see how speed my speed's down to now. Eleven. Yeah, I'm in trouble. Yeah, the neat thing with this game, not just the historical, you could set up so many neat scenarios against friends and all sorts of stuff. You can ram the ships, everything. <laughs> if you get close enough, you survive long enough. I got Exeter on fire again. Engine, right back in the engine room too, so maybe she'll slow down. Ooh, a turret explodes on Exeter. I got all her main guns out now. Oh, she's in trouble, she's turning. She's turning. These guys will still, probably still rip me up though. <laughs> I just hope I get a good torpedo shot. If I do, I'll throw my smoke up. Try to take on the last guy. Probably miss. Yep. Toss the smoke stain all. Oh, gotta make sure to close it. Got the smoke screen out and we're turning <laughs> very slow. <laughs> Come on, we're going 25. Let's go 25. 26. Not going to happen. <laughs> but we did put a Wampin on Exeter. Exeter is done. Oof, we're already getting rocked. Oof, I'm on fire. We're going down. <laughs> I'm dead in the water and my guns are down at 25%. <laughs> That's why you run. Oh, I just lost the ma main turret. Major fire. Banish ship. <laughs> She's going down. Hopefully we'll catch a cool explosion or a torpedo coming in on me. Or right, maybe I'll get a lucky hit on them. I doubt it though. I'm done now. Your crew's already pretty tired. Your gunnery's really bad in this scenario. It's got a lot of stuff going against you. <laughs> and crew fatigue and all that really matters in this game. It's about over. I'll probably call it quits here anyways. Uh, I'm done. There's no way I can... I can win this battle, but hey, it shows you what happens when you charge in and hope that you can get close enough to even ram one, but no, not this time. <laughs> it's really neat when you ram a ship in this game. You just don't know what's going to happen. Usually your lighter ship, though, of course, will sink when you go uh, try to slam into a battleship. <laughs> but still, you can do serious damage. 
both both ships. Look at that. I'm burning head to toe almost. Just wait till I get a fire in the middle. <laughs> Alright, let's accelerate and get this over with. Because I almost got 30 minutes in this silly game and I was heading straight in. <laughs> like I said, it's it's not like the World of Warships where your ships literally last a second. <laughs> or what I like to call World of Torpedoes. It can really go on a long time if you get into a good long battle with some pretty big ships. You can make really huge fleets. This is a really small game for what this game is capable of. You can have a huge battle going on, but that's why it's so glitchy sometimes because it had a lot to deal with. <laughs> a lot of things went on in this game for its time. And when you got controlling a whole fleet and um, you could attach ships, detach ships, um, some ships would get hurt in the middle of your line, your other ships would slam into them, so you'd have to <laughs> really be careful. But you could make some pretty big convoy battles that were just spectacular on this game. Nighttime too. Um, my next one I'll definitely do some nighttime, um, and then I'm going to probably have a head-to-head -head with another buddy of mine. And, um, show how cool this game can really be when you campaign and it against friends. It can get really interesting. So anyways, I think it's over. SSI made some really cool simulation games. This is kind of the end of SSI here. Support and everything dropped for this game. <laughs> I think all my guns are gone. I'm calling it quits. So you can surrender here instead of letting your watching till the brutal end, if they ever sink me. I mean, just like the real ship, sometimes you just couldn't sink them. Uh, they might run out of rounds before <laughs> they get me down. So anyways, I'm going to surrender or accelerate to the end. We'll accelerate. Anyway, marginal victory, Royal Navy. As you can tell with the victory points, I didn't do too bad, even though I just went in there like an idiot. <laughs> SSI really had some really popular cool games like this um, but once the port dropped for this kind of game you couldn't even play it on anything but period correct equipment I tried to get it to work on Vista and ME and <laughs> XP and no, you know, I had no luck even with the other company another company took it over for a short time the license and tried to push out some updates for it and it, I could never get it to run properly unless I had just the original equipment I think because these old DirectX just didn't work as we know uh, very well from 98 to at 2000 to ME um, compared to you know stuff like 95 to 98 I even had problems I had games that wouldn't work from 95 to 98 um, same kind of thing with this game once the SSI went down and support dropped and somebody tried to re-pick it up they just they just could not get it to work right it would just be crash city um, even if you got it to work even if you got the graphics to look right which usually they didn't um, I had nothing but problems trying to get this game to work again so anyways we're gonna have a few head-to-heads and really show off how fun this and cool this game can really be and hopefully we'll have more games coming soon, uh, maybe a head-to-head -head or, or the, the full four, four-person battle. And I think that's what you could have is four full, huge fleets and uh, going at once. If we get it hooked up at land and get all my land cards hooked up and working properly. And I'm going to hopefully have some capture cards hooked up in some of these so I'm not having to point at these screens with a camera. I'm just recording this way. Anyways, this is... Fighting Steel on my time though. Catch you soon.